Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show how to handle errors in Go uh, very briefly. Uh, specifically three keywords. So those keywords are defer, panic and recover. So whenever you write a program, uh, there are at least two things that should be taken care of. So one is what happens if there is an unexpected error uh, in the middle of a program and what happens after the entire program is finished. Okay, so these two things. So let's see how uh, we can use defer, panic and recover in these scenarios uh, uh, for proper error handling. So let's start from here. So this is the main function and uh, my program is starting here. So this is um, starting program. I'm just printing it and then I'll come back to these two letters. So uh, you use the keyword defer. That means those will be called after the current uh, function gets over. So these two defer statements will not be executed initially, only this will be execu executed. So once you are starting the program, then the main function is calling this simulate error function. I'm just calling it simulate error. It might be some important function inside which there might be an error uh, while during the time of execution. So for now, all I'm doing is inside simulate error, uh, I'm creating a panic essentially. So usually, yeah, the normal errors when you get an error and you print it, that is fine. But in case of a panic situation, uh, the program should not just shut down, right? It should continue and it should let you know that some serious error has happened rather than completely shutting down. So in case of a panic type scenarios, we have this keyword called recover. So uh, this is usually the standard way to implement panic recover. So once panic happens then uh, the recover function kicks in and uh, this is how you write it inside this uh, recover setup uh, you basically do uh, whatever you want to do in case of a panic so in this case i'm just printing a recover from panic so you might want to uh, log error somewhere else or notify some other channels in that case so this is how you recover from a panic um, so this is an example of panic plus recover scenarios Okay, so right now, once this simulate error uh, has given an error and this has happened, then the program continues after the error. So this is what I'm printing here. If this handling, this uh, panic recover, recover handling was not set up, then your program would have probably stopped here only. Okay, so the program continues after the error and then after uh, the, all of the program is finished, then this cleanup function is called. And inside this cleanup function, you typically do uh, cleaning of of resources so basically shutting down any um, go routines or closing some channels which you know should not be left uh, left in their particular go routines or uh, you might have to like close some databases which you have opened or you have opened some file which you should close so all the cleaning up work uh, should be done at the end and this is handled by this cleaning up function so if I run this program you see first uh, it's printing starting the program as expected then uh, we are inside the simulate error function and it is simulating an error then the panic happens inside this and uh, which gets wired into this recover setup so we are recovered from the panic in this case and here this uh, panic statement is getting uh, printed and then at the very end we are having uh, this cleanup function uh, running so here uh, we are printing cleaning up of resources so if we didn't have this setup so let's say we um, delete this then let's see what happens so we started the program we simulated the error and uh, at the very end we are doing cleaning up of resources but we never got to this point okay uh, program continues after the error so at your first panic level error essentially um, the, the entire program is exited so this is a brief example of how you typically set up for error handling scenarios in go basically like you you use the defer keyword and uh, panic recover 